All right, are you ready? Yeah. Hello, Hello guys. guys. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ubu Gatsby, which is super excited to be here again. And I have with me in the studio. Buku maybe a crown. All right, guys. <laughs> today we'll be reacting to a video um, titled Sinners Become Winners Because of This from wow. Merciful Servant. Amazing. Yeah. So let's check out what Sinners do to become winners. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, let's get into this. <laughs> okay, guys. Right now, man. Right now, turn to Allah and say, oh Allah, forgive me. That simple. That simple. What separated Islam from any other religion? There's no middleman in Islam. You don't need to sit in a box or put some money in a box or sit in front of a human being and confess to this. and No, between you and Allah right now, Right now, between you and Allah, say, Oh Allah, forgive me. Know that Allah will forgive you. This is the beauty of Islam. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what condition you're in, no matter how much sin you've committed, know Allah Azza wa forgives all sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in Quran. Allah says, Oh my slaves, those who have transgressed against themselves, don't you ever ever give up hope in the mercy of your Rabb, in the mercy of your Lord. Don't ever give up hope. I'm speaking direct, authentic material. Don't you ever, I don't care how much sin you've committed, don't you ever give up hope in the mercy of your Lord. And look at this concept of Islam. I challenge this with anything and everyone else. You know, everything else in this world, you know, your best friend. But I'm sure everyone in this room has a best friend. Or oh, if you're one of the boys, bro, we're like that, bro. But everyone in this room has a best friend. Wallahi, no matter how close your friend is, if you push the right buttons, Wallahi, they will disown you. I've had BFFs go to war with each other because of what she said and how she said it and the way she looked at me and the way I looked at her. I've had blood brothers go to war and shoot each other. Wallahi, this dunya, nothing is forever. Anyone and everyone in this world, if you push the right buttons, they will disown you. You know, you can work for a company. You can work for a company and give them the best years of your life. Work there for 30 years straight. You never took a day off. You never took a sick day. You, you, were, you were there 10 minutes before work and 10 minutes after work. And wallahi, even this company, they have a schedule. They have rules and regulations that if you break them, know that you're gone, you're done, you're finished. Is there anyone that loves you more than your mother? Impossible. Wallahi, even your mother, if you push the right buttons, she'll disown you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king, he says, oh, my slaves, do whatever you please. Do it a million times. Disobey me. Do whatever you want for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50, 60 years. You never prayed. You never fasted. Sin among sin. And then once, only once, you turn to me and you say, Ya Rabb. Allah said, what do you want, man? What do you want? Allah forgives. Now you don't need to read a book. You don't need to sign up or an application. Now, right now, between you and Allah. And no one can take that away from you. Turn to Allah. Allah says, my slave, if you come to me with an earth load of sin, but you don't associate partners with me. I will come to you with forgiveness that matches it. Allah says, oh my slave, if you come to me a hand span, I come to you an arm's length. If you come to me walking, I come to you running. My slave, when you remember me, I remember you. My slave, when you forget me, I still remember you. So yeah, if you've sinned 
and you've lost hope, then I tell you right now, make tawbah to Allah. Just right now, between you and your heart, ask Allah for sincere forgiveness. And wallahi, you will taste immediate iman. And then obviously work on this and try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, and I'm sure you know the pattern. This is amazing, yeah. Whereby you do so many years of good work, yeah, and one day you mess up. People tend to forget everything you've Every done. Every good thing yeah, you've done, yes. You know, but then you do, you've been sinning all your life, you've not prayed, you've not done anything, but mm -hmm. you just turn back to God. God forgets every single thing you've and offended all your sins you. and accept you back and, and call you back, you know, and gives you whatever you want you ask for him you want to enter into the kingdom of god mm -hmm. he, call, he accepts you even the bible says my hands are not too short to deliver you neither my ears to um blocks for me to, to hear, hear you. you yeah only when you call upon me so when you call upon god he answers you you know so it's just us we'll, we just have to trace ourselves back mm -hmm. and, and, and just ask god for forgiveness mm -hmm. and his, the sins are forgiven mm -hmm. what i would say is that People tend to turn their back at you. People do that a lot. You do a lot of good deeds. But just one mess up, then they have entered their black book. That's people for you. Yeah. But God, no matter how you sin, and you, you come with an open heart, and you're ready, God will always accept you back. His mercy is always sufficient. His grace is always there for you. God will never leave you. No matter how difficult it is, He will never leave you. Just, just always, you know, there's no way you will not sin. You know, we are humans. You can say, ah, today God, please forgive me. And you may just do something slight. God will still accept you. Just imagine humans. Humans, no, they've forgotten you. Like, people always say that, dog, if you feed a dog today, you want to feed a dog three times. If they don't do, you don't feed him, he will still remember you. That dog will still want to come to you. After like maybe one month and you come back, the dog will still remember your face and will still want to come to you. That, but humans are not like that. But it's only God. God is so merciful. God is so kind that just call upon him and he will answer. Just call upon him and he will answer. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean you should keep sinning. Yeah. That doesn't mean you should misuse the opportunity. No, no, even though God, they said... God gives, chance, gives chances. Don't face the wrath of God. Yeah, Once yeah. you face the wrath of God, you will not like it. Yeah. God also punishes mm -hmm. in another way. He might use somebody, he might use something you like so much. You, you, you know, no, but so don't misuse it. But anytime, anytime you sin against God and you are ready, just call upon him, worship him, he will forgive you. He's always giving chances. And this was really powerful. Like you said, your mother can disown you, your best friend, someone that you've relied on so much, someone that you've, you've been close for for years, maybe for 10 years, and just one small thing like this, the old friendship that you've built for so many years just collapsed. Yeah. But God is always there. True. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to this one. Thank you, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having uh, me. This, this one is a strong one, a powerful one, actually. Yeah, and yeah. we really learned from this. Yeah, and learned. yeah, I hope you guys have also learned from this, guys. So um, if you have any suggestions to make this channel better, please drop that in the comment section. And also, if you have any videos you want to recommend to us, can you drop the link of the video in the comment section? And we'll also do justice to that. Also, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe, turn the notification button, and also like and share this video. Guys, so to come your way next time. Bye.